In this video, we showcase the options for editing a file in OpenKM. To begin, we can choose to create a new document based on a template. To do this, we click on the Create from Template button. The system opens the template menu, and the user selects a model. Then, they determine where to save it and, if desired, rename the file. A new document is automatically created in the selected location. If we edit it, the file opens in editing mode using OpenKM's online editor. Here, the user has all the tools needed to edit an office file within OpenKM. This editing mode allows simultaneous editing. For testing purposes, we will log into OpenKM as the user manager. As we can see, the document is being edited by two users simultaneously, administrator and manager, both of whom can modify the text. The administrator decides to save the changes and create a new version. As we can see, after closing the online editor, OpenKM has saved a new version 1.1. In the notes section, a new annotation is visible, and in the history section, a new version appears. By comparing both versions, we can see the changes highlighted in red. In OpenKM, we can also edit a document by inserting metadata. To test this, we select a metadata group and assign a value. As we can see, the document updates to version 1.2. Each time we update a metadata field and save the changes, a new version of the file is generated. The same applies when adding more metadata groups. When comparing versions, OpenKM allows us to analyze differences based on the document body as well as metadata. If a metadata group remains the same, any changes in values are highlighted. OpenKM also has its own file editing system called LifeEdit. To enable the LifeEdit system, we disable the online editing option in Settings. This editing method allows us to modify virtually any file extension, as long as the corresponding program is installed on the device from which we access OpenKM. The system detects the file extension and opens it with the appropriate application, in this case, Microsoft Word. This editing mode protects work from being overwritten since only one user can edit at a time. We will add a short text to save the new version. After closing the file, we click the green button in the Life Edit window, confirming that this is the new version we want to save. Depending on the configuration, we may be able to add a note. As we can see, we save a new version 1.5. The new note appears, and in the history section, the new version is also accessible from the preview. OpenKM has developed Microsoft add-ins for the entire Office suite. Let's see an example with Microsoft Word. In the menu, an additional OpenKM tab appears. To test this, we save the document locally and select the Upload option. Based on this configuration, OpenKM asks for the node identifier where the file will be stored. We select the identifier of the first folder we find. We can even add a metadata group. And if we access the folder, we will find the newly uploaded document. Now, if we decide to edit the document, the system will request the file identifier and the OpenKM add-in will open the document in editing mode, granting access to document management functionalities. We can edit the file's content and also add keywords, categories, notes, and relationships with other content. If we want to save this version, we click the checking button and accept the changes. Based on the configuration, we can add a comment, increment the version number, and even add a metadata group. After refreshing the view, we can verify that the new version has been added along with the keywords, categories, and history entry, which can also be compared. Another way to edit documents in OpenKM is by using the stamping functionality. When selecting this option, OpenKM opens a workspace where the user can choose a stamp from the available ones, preview the result, and apply it to the file. OpenKM then creates a new PDF version, and the same file can be stamped multiple times by different users. For more information or any questions, 
feel free to contact us through our website form or via our social media.